Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahul. Today we are going to discuss about state transition matrix. That is a matrix will be given and we have to find the state transition matrix from that matrix. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. The problem is consider the matrix A and compute state transition matrix E power AT. So matrix is given as A equal to 0, 1 first row and second row is minus 2 minus 3. So we have to find the state transition matrix. So in order to find the state transition matrix we have e power a t is equal to L inverse of S i minus a inverse. This is the equation for finding the state transition matrix. So first we have to find out S i minus a. So S into here this matrix is 2 cross 2 matrix. We have to find the identity matrix i will be equal to 1, 0 and 0, 1. So s into i minus a. i is 1, 0, 0, 1 minus a is 0, 1 minus 2 minus 3. This we have to simplify. So here s into identity matrix will become s 0 0 s minus 0 1 minus 2 minus 3. So this will be equal to s minus 0 which is equal to s. Second element is 0 minus 1 which will be equal to minus 1. 0 minus minus 2 that is 2 and s minus minus 3 this will become s plus 3. So s i minus a is equal to s minus 1 2 s plus 3. Next we have to find delta. So delta is equal to s i minus a that is determinant or modulus. So it will equal to you have to find the determinant from this matrix. So s into s plus 3 minus 2 into 1. 2 into minus 1 that is it will become plus 2. So this is equal to s I am multiplying inside s square plus 3s plus 2 that is equal to s plus 2 and s plus 3. 1. Then we have to find phi of s. Phi of s is equal to si minus a inverse. So we have to find the inverse of this matrix which means cofactor of si minus a transpose by determinant of si minus a. This gives the inverse of this matrix. So determinant of si minus a we have already done that is determinant is equal to s plus 2 into s plus 1. So here we can write 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 1. This is the determinant into cofactor of s minus a transpose. You have to find the cofactor and then the transpose. So transpose means what we are getting in the first row it will become first column and second row will become second column. So we have to find the cofactor of uh, s i minus a which is s uh, minus 1 2 s plus 3 we have to find the transpose. So after the transpose I am writing here it as x plus 3 1 minus 2 s. So this is the 
cofactor of SI minus A transpose. So phi of S is equal to you have this we have to multiply with all the terms. S plus 3 by S plus 2 into S plus 1. Then second term is 1. 1 by S plus 2 into S plus 1. And third term is minus 2. So minus 2 by S plus 2 into S plus 1. And here it is yes. S by S plus 2 into S plus 1. So this is phi of S. This S plus 3. Here we have 1. Then minus 2 by S plus 2 into S plus 1. And here we have S by S plus 2 into S plus 1. 1. So this we can solve. So first one s plus 3 by s plus 2 into s plus 1. We can find the partial fraction which is a1 by s plus 2 plus b1 by s plus 1. So this is from this we have to find a1 and b1. So s plus 3 is equal to a1 into s plus 1 plus b1 into s plus 2. So from this we can take, we can equate uh, s, s terms and constant terms. So if you take this s plus 3 is equal to a1 s plus a1 plus b1 s plus 2 b1. So s terms if you take you will get s is equal to a1 plus b1. Then if you take constant terms 3 is equal to a1 plus 2 b1. Then you have to solve this and find a1 and b1. So here is, uh, this, this means here the coefficient is 1. So a1 plus b1 is equal to 1 and a1 plus 2b1 is equal to 3. If you subtract this, this will become, this will get cancelled. You will get minus b1 is equal to minus 2 which means b1 is equal to 2. And a1 plus b1 is equal to 1. So a1 plus 2 is equal to 1. Therefore a1 is equal to 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1. So we have got a1 as minus 1 and b1 as 2. So this is the value of a1 and b1 that we have to substitute in that in your equation phi of s. So here we have s plus 3 by s plus 2 into s plus 1 which is equal to a1. a1 means it is a1 is minus 1 and b1 is 2. So here we have minus 1 by s plus 2 plus 2 by s plus 1. So this we can write it as 2 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2. But we have to find the partial fraction for all these terms and find a1 and uh, so this here you can write it as a2 uh, here it is uh, a3 and b3 here it can be a4 and b4 like that we have to find. So this phi of s I can after finding the partial fraction this equation will be 2 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2 this is the first term. Second term is 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2. Third term is minus 2 by s plus 1 plus 2 by s plus 2. And fourth term is minus 1 by s plus 1 plus 2 by s plus 2. So you will get the phi of s as this one. Then e power a t e power a t means it is phi of t 
and that is you have to find the Laplace inverse of phi of s. L inverse of phi of s gives phi of t. So Laplace inverse of this equation, this uh, matrix will give your phi of t which is your e power a t. So 2 by s plus 1 is 2 into e power minus t minus this is e power minus 2t like that you have to write. So your e power a t phi of t will be equal to 2 e power minus t minus e power minus 2t minus 2 e power minus t plus 2 into e power minus 2t and e power minus t minus e power minus 2t this term will be minus e power minus t plus 2 e power minus 2t. So this is the transition matrix, state transition matrix that is your phi of s will be equal to 2 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2. So L inverse of this one 2 into 2 is constant this you can L inverse of phi of s so you can write it as 2 into Laplace of 1 by s plus 1 is e power minus t minus here 1 by s plus 2 Laplace inverse is e power minus 2t like that you have to write for each term and you will get your state transition matrix like this. Hope this is clear for everyone. If you find this useful please like and share it with others. Thank you.